Hey, this is Robbie, and in this video, I wanted to talk to you about what do you do in situations where life just isn't going the way you planned, or there's something that's stressing you out in your life, something that's just in the way that's, uh, that you're afraid of, that's stressing you, something that's not working. And this could be something in your relationship that's just not working out, or it could be a business issue that you're having to face, or something at your job, or something regarding your health. Uh, we're going to talk about a few different ways to deal with those situations and how to create uh, a strategy to exit out of it and come out as the winner. So, number one thing you have to always remember, and this is very critical that you, that you always remember this, is that you have full control over your body and over your actions. So, you know, this unit here, this body, this mind, it's yours and you've always had it and you'll always have it as long as you're alive so you're always able to control it even if it doesn't feel like you can even if it feels like there's too many things happening around you just try to sit down and just don't move and just ask yourself like am I in control of this and what you will realize is that you are in full control and what that means is there's never anything that's stopping you from taking initiative from doing something uh, out of your own initiative and anytime you try something, you know, let's say again You have a financial issue or you have a relationship issue You can always try something you can always take initiative and try something that will hopefully make it better Now whatever you do, it's gonna have a certain percentage of working, you know, maybe 1% maybe 50% But what that means is you can always try again imagine you played a poker game and You could try as many times as you want and you'll never run out of chips what you'll do is you'll always go all in. You'll always try your best and play as many hands as you can because over the long run, that means that you're going to win. So that's number one thing that I would suggest to you. Number two, ask better questions. So oftentimes the questions that we ask ourselves will determine what kind of ideas and what kind of results we're going to attract into our life. Now this isn't some, uh, the secret kind of crap. This is actual provable stuff that's very easy to recognize in yourself. So ask yourself, let's say there's a situation in your life, let's say uh, you, you have some financial debt that you need to take care of and you're stressed about it because there's a bill due, there's some money you need to pay that's coming up. One question that you can ask yourself is, oh my God, how do I get out of this? This is so bad, what do we do? Basically kind of very stressed questions. Well, the types of answers that you're gonna get from your head, from the world, are going to be stressful answers as well that are probably just gonna resolve it in the short term. Imagine if instead of this, you ask yourself, how do I create a situation where this amount of money never uh, matters to me again? Or how do I create a situation where I never have to worry about money again? Or how do I create a situation where I can pay this money back 20 times and I'll be fine? When you ask yourself the right question, you're gonna attract better answers. So the quality of the questions that you ask is gonna have a very large part in what you actually attract into your life. So that's number two thing that I would suggest to you. Number three is silence. Oftentimes, what we need to get out of bad situations in life is actually not thinking at all. It's too much noise in our head that's producing the problem. So imagine that every problem that you have, at the end of the day, it's somewhere in your head. You know, you have the problem in your head, you're imagining it, you're thinking about it, and you probably spend 90% of your time over that problem. Well, what would happen if you just stop thinking about it and kind of let yourself be in the moment? Sometimes, just being present to the moment, for example, going out on a walk in a nice day, going out to the beach, and just sitting there and letting yourself be, giving yourself that you know, few minutes or maybe an hour of silence, and I'm saying without your phone, without all of this shit, uh, that could often make you find the solution inside because sometimes our emotions are actually addicting us to, to, to bad situations. So let's say that you're, you're stressed very often, that means you're also going to attract stressful situations and sometimes we don't even want to give up the stressful situation because the emotion has a life of its own and wants to continue. So only when you get yourself into a place where you actually relax, present, relaxed, uh, present to the moment and able to just be with yourself, only then will you actually come up with ideas that actually vibe with and sync with that feeling. So these are some simple tips that you can take that are gonna help you 
uh, get out of bad situations in your life, help you uh, really navigate your way into a much better place. So let me know if you have any questions, if you need any help in actually implementing those, uh, just comment in the video below. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon.